Over a month after an accident left him unresponsive for several minutes, Hancock High School ninth grader Braden Peterson was finally able to return home to his friends and family. News 25's Rick Gogreve is in studio to tell us more on how the school celebrated his return. Rick. This afternoon, I visited Hancock High School to join the celebration of Braden and spoke with several of his family members and friends about their thoughts so far on his journey to recovery. Students from Hancock Middle School and High School waited to see their classmate Braden Peterson for the first time in over 45 days. During the Diamond Head Christmas Parade on December 12th, Braden experienced a medical emergency that left him unresponsive for about seven minutes. I went to see him at the hospital and just it took a major turn for how he is now from where he, he was in the beginning. It was scary because we didn't know what had happened or how it you know, what the cause was, but he's a miracle day by day. After about 45 days of recovery, Braden was released from the hospital last week. Once the news of his release reached the school, Braden's friend Kylie Gerald decided she wanted to throw a parade on both the middle schools and the high school's campuses to celebrate his journey. All of my friends, like, have been so worried about Braden, and we just wanted to, like, see him and, like, do something to support him, to show that we, like, care. So students gathered outside the school as the marching band and cheerleaders led the way for Braden, who rode in the back of a Jeep tossing cups full of candy into the crowd. Family and friends of Braden say the event could not have gone any better. Support, showing how much he means to him, and him doing good makes everybody else feel better. Yeah, I was just trying not to cry earlier. It's just I love how everybody's so supportive and out here and showing like a really good vibe, and it's just great to see how he is now. While Braden still has a long journey ahead of him, his friends and family believe he will be back to 100% one day. Oh, he's going he's gonna to make a full recovery. He's going to be back to how he was, in my opinion. He's going to get 100% hopefully soon. In Hancock County, Rick Ogreve, News 25.